Hey, it's Mike from drive80.com. I think there was a glitch there. Today I'm going to show you a fun little uh, trick and we'll show you it here. My friends from Headbands of Hope asked, hey Mike, how can you do this effect? And they sent me, they tagged me in this link here and I'll show you. So what they want to know is how to make this leaf falling effect stay within this picture that's not moving. This is a really simple technique. Now there's a little bit more involvement going on here with the leaves turning and all that but for now we're going to keep it simple since this is a basic tutorial and we're going to just get uh, basically just have a static image with some movement that's going to stay within this white spot and i'm going to go to after effects and what i've done is i've set up this file already and what i did is i went online and i found this picture and i drew a leaf right here inside of after effects now if this was, um, you could draw inside of After Effects. You can also draw in Illustrator, then import it as well. That's also a good technique. I think I've got more control in, after, or in Illustrator when I'm drawing things, but this did a pretty good job. This is a pretty decent looking little leaf here. I could have probably had more detail if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep it simple. Um, and this background of this composition is 1080 by 1080. I have 24 frame rate. Let me do this to 30. And of about a minute, even though we're not going to use a minute, I just usually like to give myself some breathing room and just keep all the other settings. You can pause this and take a screenshot if you want to make sure or pause this and, and make your settings match mine. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go over here to my preview, make sure that that's matching as well. And my my RAM preview is at 30. Perfect. First thing, what you'd want to do is this, I stretched it above 100%. If I brought this image in at 100%, that's really what I want it to be. But if this is 100% right now, you're going to see that it's going to have this, you know, it's going to show the background and I don't want that. So I had to scale it up to 150 and rule of thumb, never use an image where you're going above its scale because if you zoom in, it's going to look really blurry and crappy and you don't want that. Vector, you won't have that problem, but a JPEG or you know, PNG, any of those files that are bitmap, you're going to want to bring them to 100%. So let's just pretend I brought this in at 100% and we've got a leaf. Now the effect here, if I go back, is that it's falling back and forth. So if I go back to After Effects, what we want to do is we want to start it here and we want it to have it end um, a couple seconds down. Let's say it's going to take about two seconds. So I'm going to hit Option P to get a keyframe for the position to start where it is now. And say at two seconds, I want it to officially have gotten to this point right here. And I want to use these handles to kind of give it an effect that it's going to go back and forth. And if I hit um, Command-0, you're going to see that it's falling. And we'll see that right now. And so it's... There's the leaf, it's falling down the cup, and it's done. It's just going to loop because my work area is stopped right here. Now what we can do is, eh, maybe I want to move the top a little bit over, and this here. All right, cool. Now we want to create the mask to hide this within this image. And this is really simple. I'm going to hit G, and I'm going to get myself a pen. Now key here is bring the stroke down and make sure that it's got a color. I usually use a bright color. In this sense, it's a green because I need, because the fill is what matters. And we're gonna start drawing around this circle and I'll go back and I'll fix this a little bit more at the end and go here. All right, cool. So I'm gonna take this little point, I'm gonna draw it, bring that handle over, bring this one over this way. And if I zoom in a little bit, hit spacebar for the hand, bring this down. Now if I turn it off, if I turn it off, you can see you can still see the lines here. Now I don't want this to be out that far. I'm gonna bring this handle in. That's good. Not bad. All right, cool. So I'm gonna double. I'm just gonna hit return and hit the, call this masker. I'm gonna make it red because that's what I usually make my masks. And you want to make sure that the eyeball is off. Um, actually, if you turn it on, it'll do it automatically. So let's do that. Here's your leaf, which I named leaf, and you have a Starbucks cup here. This is kind of a free Starbucks promotion, even though I shop local. I'm drinking my ice brew now from Brew Coffee in Raleigh. Actually, no, crap. This is from Vidari in Raleigh. <laughs> Never mind. Both are good places to get coffee. Now, here's how we create a mask. Select the leaf. Go here to track mat. I had it on it. All right. So you want to, if you can't see this, you might have one of these buttons turned off. Um, so you can just turn them on by clicking them on here, clicking them on here. All these options come up. But just focus on this. It says Alpha Matte Masker. Now hit that. 
what that's going to do is saying anything with inside of the mask, you're going to show it. If it's outside the mask, if we inverted it, which I would do invert mask, it would show it outside as if that was going underneath there, which is also a cool effect. Now, it just depends on what exactly it is that you want to accomplish here. But I, since this is asked to be inside here, then that's what it's going to do. So here we go. Do, do, do. Here's the leaf. It's falling and it's falling again. And it's looping here um, because this work area is closed off. If I, if I brought that out a little bit more and did it, there'd be like a three second delay. And then you see the time indicator is going to jump back to the beginning. Now, when I render this out, uh, whatever time that I stop it at, if I said that I just want this to be all right, three, eh, like here, I would end it. And I would render this, and the render the video would just be that long. It'd be two point, you know, whatever, two and a half seconds long. And that's all that they would want. And you can render it as, as an MOV, and you can upload it to Instagram, and there you go. You've got your cool thing. Now, if I wanted to have multiple leaves, I can duplicate this by Command-D and Command-D again. And for this, I can undo the alpha, undo the alpha, and make sure that this one doesn't have an alpha. Okay. Now I could take both of these, I can drag them under the mask and I can make a pre-comp, which is really fun because I don't wanna do three different masks. I want all of these to be in one thing. So if I do shift command C, it'll make a pre-comp, I'll call it leaves, hit okay. Now that just means that this right here is a movie or a movie clip, that's something again, uh, flash. This, if you double click it, it has all three of these in here. And if I go up a layer, it's got the image that it's in. And hopefully that makes sense to you. That's just kind of, that gets a little bit more in, in detailed, but just know for now, just to make that a pre-comp and that's all you need to know. And I'm going to hit, not that one, I'm going to hit mask, make it a mask. Now inside here, you see that it's there, but the problem is that it's three things doing the exact same thing, but I want to change that. So if I open this one up, I hit U, I know the position. I'm going to change this one to be over here and I don't want it to end in the same spot. And maybe I'm gonna hit scale. Maybe I'm gonna scale this down and hit W. And maybe I want the leaf to face that way. And that's the way that's gonna be. And then this one right here, I'm gonna hit U so I can see what it's doing. Again, going to move the properties here and move it here. And I'm also going to maybe change it here. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. And out of all of them, maybe I will, one will take a little bit longer, one will take a little bit less. And that just means that the beginning point and the end point, if they're closer together, they're just going to go a lot faster. And this one, I'm going to bring it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to cap it off. I'm also going to select all these points and hit this little graph indicator and hit this right here in the bottom to fit all the graph. And you see that it's got these points. If I just hit the minus sign, uh, bring it over, hit the minus sign. And if I just click and drag over these points and hit this, it's going to give it more of a lifelike effect, which you're going to see right there. There you go. And they're all falling down. So let's see. There they go. They fall into the ground. And if I go back up and I hit N to bring this work area here, and you're going to see that these leaves are now falling. Uh, let's see. There they go. Falling to the ground. And that's it. And they'll come down. Oh, that one's going really fast. You don't want it to be that fast. That's kind of insane. And that's it. I would probably add an expression on this for it to keep looping, but since this is a beginner tutorial, I'm not going to do that because you're going to be like, what are you talking about? So for now, you can just do a looping GIF. So if I right there, if I hit N and I hit to preview this, so it's control zero. If you're on CC, you just have to hit space bar if you're on After Effects CC. And there you go. You got falling leaves. Now I zoom in a little bit and do it again. There they go. They're falling down to the ground. And that's kind of making this effect. There you go. And that's how you can do that effect right there with After Effects. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, you just comment wherever this video is posted in the description or the comment section. You can also email me directly as I'm typing out my name here, mike at drive80.com. There we go. Uh, wait, no. There we go. Let me hide all this other crap. There we go. Mike at drive80.com. And I can just tell me any tutorials that you want to know, uh, see. So if you see anything on Instagram or online that it looks pretty cool and you want to beef up your marketing and rip them off, basically, just email me and say, hey, man, 
how do I do this? And I can make a video about it. And if these are things that you don't want to do and you just want to hire someone, you can also just email me, Mike at driveaday.com and say, hey, Mike, we don't want to do this. We want to hire you to do this. So hopefully that was helpful. And thank you very much.